Hey guys, I just want to give you guys a bit of an update on my health and where I'm at right now. Um, I haven't been able to lose much weight and my diet isn't going the same way I'd like it to. I'm eating healthier, but I'm still eating a hell of a lot more than I should be. Although today I don't think I've had anything to eat yet and it's almost 3.30 already. I just haven't been feeling hungry today. but. There are some days I'm ravenous, and then there are some days where I'm just like, eh. But I'm planning on going to a doctor next month, um, going back to a doctor and seeing about um, having monthly appointments. And I'm going to try and get to the bottom of this. I'm going to tell I'm going to tell the doc, look, I've been overweight for most of my life because if you count, um, I mean, if you count the well, 13 years I've been. Um, overweight against the 12 years that I wasn't, that's the majority of my lifespan. And, and to be honest, I really hate that. But, um, no, I've, I've gone through the diets, I've gone through the cleanses, I've gone through this, that, and the other. I've gone through trying to be the conscientious, conscientious eater, and I've tried to do this whole, um, I don't know, but um, I just, I want to be the best kind of person I can be. I want to be the kind of person that can really, really end up being a positive influence on people. And being overweight isn't going to be a positive influence on people's view of health. So I want to get that over with. So I'm going to be talking with my doc, the new, this new doctor next month and asking for some sort of an appetite suppressant so that I can get my hunger un under control. Because to be honest, I've got several, and I mean several, voices in my head. They're not audible voices. I'm not schizophrenic. But... There are several just sensations that, are, that go through my body that are saying, oh, you're hungry, you need to eat. Oh, you're hungry, you need to eat. Even when I have eaten in the last hour or two hours, it's like, oh, well, I'm hungry again. No, you're not. Yes, I am. And it keeps getting insistent, 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 until finally I'm like, okay, shut up, I'll eat. And <laughs> to be honest, I doubt my own... Um, I doubt my own willpower and my own ability to get this under control myself, which is why I'm turning to looking for a medical application to help, um, which is why I'm looking for a medical um, solution to curb my hunger and my um, to curb my hunger and also to curb my constant eating because to be honest it's not good I'm gonna end up being even heavier and even bigger if I can't get it over with and under control now because I'm already at 298 um, I've been at 298 and fluctuating in between 298 and down to the lowest I've been in like two years is 291 maybe 289 if I'm lucky but I'd love to be able to finally be healthy. I'd, I'd love to finally be able to say, look, look at what I was able to do. Granted, I needed some help, but look how healthy I am now. Also, it'd be nice if I didn't have a doctor that's constantly yelling at me, hey, you're fat, you need to lose weight, you need to eat less and move more, yada, yada, yada. And it's like, doc, I have problems. I can't do it on my own. I need help. And he's like, oh, well, you're just not trying hard enough. I'm, I'm, done with, listen, I'm, I'm done with going and seeing a doctor that's like, I, I'm done with going to a doctor that basically disregards all my input and basically just says, oh, well, either you try or you don't. So, yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... I mean, you know, things are going to get better. I'm going to get healthier. Um, I'm also going to be working on um, saving money every month. Um, 
And if nothing else, putting it into my Acorns account every month, and that can be a secondary savings account. Because um, really, um, the returns from Acorns, at least in the beginning, aren't going to be that much. Later on, they will be. But right now, not so much. So being able to um, actually just sock away money into an, into an investment account is probably a good idea. And I am going to, it is a moderately um, balanced um, portfolio that I've set up there. So it's not too risky, but at the same time, it's not so low risk that it's practically not even earning anything. But it's, <laughs> yeah, because I've, I've seen people that, that try to do that, and it's like, eh, well, you know. But I'm just, I'm learning, I'm doing, I'm growing, and hopefully... This time next year, I'll be a lot healthier. Maybe not a whole lot lighter, maybe only a few pounds, maybe 20, 30 pounds, but hell, 30 pounds a year is a big step forward compared to <clears throat> compared to only um, 5 to 10 pounds a year, if that. And then I gain it right back as soon as I let up or whatever. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys don't um, look badly at me for this, but I just thought I'd, you know, give you guys some um, updates on stuff. Let you guys into my life a little, because, I mean, you're already in my life to begin with. Why not share with you guys what I go through on a daily basis? So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome week, an awesome Wednesday. Um, I'll be doing a um, favorite stories for today video probably, well, I'm going to try to start doing favorite stories of today. Um, I'm not so sure how well that works, will work out. I know Phil DeFranco does something similar to this because um, he shares things that he thinks are awesome, but I don't know if I'd be able to, <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to do the same thing. Probably not, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.